Hello everyone, Professor Franz here. Today we're going to put together our aggregate demand curve with our short run and long run aggregate supply curve to analyze the market. Here is our initial equilibrium where we see the intersection of the long run aggregate supply curve, the short run aggregate supply curve, and the aggregate demand curve. They all intersect together and at the intersection, we see the equilibrium price level and the potential output. Notice that at this potential output, there is no cyclical unemployment. Now suppose there is a recession. As a result, consumption goes down, investment goes down. So that will shift your aggregate demand curve to the left. Consequently, price level goes down and also the output goes down. Your new output level Y1 is lower than the potential output, which means we have cyclical unemployment in this economy. Here is what happens in the long run if our government does not intervene in the recession. The bottom line is, in the long run, like after decades, our short-run aggregate supply curve will shift to the right, restoring our real GDP back to its potential. So what happened here is this. During a recession, both price level as well as the output goes down. In the long run, our input price is also going to go down. Why is that? Because laborers are losing their jobs. As a result, laborers are willing to accept a very low wage just to work. So in the long run, firms will say that, hey, input price is so low, so it makes sense for me to produce more. And therefore, Firms are going to produce more, and that will shift our short run aggregate supply curve to the right. Notice that it will take decades to adjust. Why is that? Because during a recession, consumers are not buying goods or services, and therefore firms are not able to sell their goods or services. So when firms are not able to sell their goods and services, no matter how low the wage is, firms are not going to hire more workers and they're not going to expand their production. Therefore, it's going to take decades for us to adjust and shifting our short-run aggregate supply curve to the right.